Hey, this is Ryan, and tonight I'm going to be uh, checking out Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup. Uh, this is a roguelike, and I don't know if you're familiar with what roguelikes are. Uh, I like to simply describe them as uh, Dungeons & Dragons for PC. Uh, the games themselves are usually very graphically simple, uh, very deep in their complexity, and leave a lot to the imagination. I happen to really enjoy them. Uh, the music in the background, you might realize, is probably not from this game. This game doesn't have any sound. Uh, this is the Bastion soundtrack I grabbed off the Humble Indie Bundle. Uh, if you're not familiar with the Humble Indie Bundle, I would uh, Google it, check it out. It's a pretty nice way to get cheap games. Uh, I'd like to start off by thanking everyone uh, that um, uh, that uh, you know, upvoted, commented on my last video. I really appreciate that for someone who's getting started out in the video creation. Uh, that helps motivate me a lot. Um, so, we ran into some audio issues with this, so I will actually be kind of stapling the first recording I had on the back half of this, because for some reason the first half of my recording got all gobbled up. So, I'm going to go ahead and start a new game. And so, in a new game, you get to choose uh, any one of these uh, races, species, I guess you could say. Uh, they all have their pluses and minuses, so choose wisely. Uh, I'm going to start off with Troll because it's the easiest. They basically they will eat anything. They don't care. They're always hungry. Um, and they've got claws. You really can't go wrong with claws. So I'm going to go with a Troll Fighter. And I want claws. Alright. Okay, so here's the game screen. Uh, basically the way this works, if you're not familiar with roguelikes, is nothing happens unless you do something. So I either say, you know, I want to stand still, or I want to move somewhere. Until I do, the game doesn't march on. Um, let's see what else I want to say about this. Um, the levels are randomly generated, and uh, that's all very cool. I rarely, rarely ever see two levels at, at the um, that look the same. Now, so I'm just going to claw up some stuff. I think at this point in time, I'm going to transition over, so um, uh, I'll see you on the other side. Um, so let's just keep on going. So I found some more gold. There are shops in this game where you can buy assorted things. Um, I don't know. I've, I've rarely had luck with the shops. They usually give me stuff I don't. I already have and I'm not interested in. Uh, so I'm going to fight this... Uh, what is this? Kobold? Cobalt? I don't know. Um, yeah, so this is kind of this game. After a while, if you get bored with it, you can uh, press O, and you will character will just automatically run around and try to find things. So as you can see, I automatically ran around and I found a scroll of Quinivitz Ud Xerxes. I don't know if that's actually how I pronounce that. So scrolls and potions in this game start off as a randomized name. And when you use them, you can usually figure out what they do. And so it's kind of tricky, because there are bad scrolls and there are good scrolls. There's a possibility that you might choose a bad scroll and not really know it's a bad scroll and, and, and uh, start to put you off to a bad start. Uh, so I'm going to keep on flying around here. It says I found a staircase leading out of the dungeon. Uh, the, the name of this game is to go down and find the Orb of Zot. Have I ever done that? No. I usually get down like 10 levels and die because this game is fairly challenging. There are other people who are really good at it, but that, those people are definitely not me. Um, Alright, so we'll just keep on fighting our way around here until we find something. Okay, so the monsters, um, this is unusual. As you can see, there's uh, Z's over the cockroach uh, that's in the shadows in the lower right-hand corner of my map there. And so enemies are asleep, so you can do stealth kills on them, but that's more of a job of an assassin. If you see if I walk over there, yeah, it just woke up. Uh, as a troll, I'm pretty loud and obnoxious, so it's very difficult for me to sneak up on anything. Um, oh shoot, he had a dart. Die. More stuff to kill, yes. Alright, mmm, food. Alright, uh, let's see, am I hungry? I'm not hungry yet, but whatever, I can eat, because I'm, I'm a troll. I don't care. Uh, yeah, so there's tons of things you can do here. There's, like, undead, there's magic, or I'm sorry, undead. There is, um, magic, there is, uh, what am I thinking, necromancy, there's dwarves, there's traps. Uh, this, this game is huge. It's got just a ton of stuff that you can do. Uh, the walls, they're walls, but you can take them down if you've got the right spells. I actually opened up a chamber with a really high-level monster on it. It was just supposed to be on display as a really high-level monster, but I just had to open up that chamber. And that's uh, one of the funny ways I've died. Um, one of the things, when you do die, you die as permadeath, that's sad, but there's a percent chance of a ghost of yourself 
being there for the next time you play the game. So you might run into old, undead ghost players, which, let me tell you, they're not fun. Um, there is also, um, uh, I don't want to say NPCs, there's monsters that are unique. So they're not just the boring old monsters, they have like a back line and a story. Uh, you can check them out, it's, it, it really adds, the game's got a lot of flavor. Okay, more killing stuff. So that's a steak, I want that, that's food. Gotta kill this guy. Doing pretty, what the heck is that? I don't know what that is. Let's see. So this is a this is kind of a if you press X it gives you a way to kind of check stuff out. Okay, so it's just a granite statue and it appears to be a granite statue of I think a dwarf wielding an axe. Not sure. Ooh, what else is here? Okay, staircase leading down. Okay, more statue. I wonder if there's something special down here. I'm just gonna go downstairs to check it out. No, nothing special. Just, just people. All right, so let's walk around a little more. Um, let's see what I want to say here. This game is one of what I would call the uh, Lonely Island Pack, my personal Lonely Island Pack. What do I mean by that? Is that if I was stranded on, on an island with a really crappy computer, this is one of the games that I would totally want with me. The other ones would be Cataclysm, Dark uh, Days Ahead, and Dwarf Fortress, definitely. I hope to do videos on those um, because they are definitely amazing. Um, but I want to space them out a little bit because these roguelikes, they are tons of fun, but they're kind of slow on the video side. So we're going to keep on moving on. Oh, and also I probably should mention the soundtrack in the background is not this game. I probably should have told you guys this way earlier. But this is a soundtrack from The Bastion, which is also an amazing game, which I also totally want to do a video on because it's amazing. How can you, how can you not? Um, Alright, so let's do... Uh, I'm... I'm like I said before, I'm pressing O to auto move around. This just kind of uh, lets you explore the dungeon automatically. And if it sees like a monster or an item that you might want, or a stairs downstairs or an upstairs, or a staircase down or a staircase up, it will um, it will stop your character's motion. Um, so let's just keep on going here. All right. Apparently, I uh, all right. See, a large net falls onto you. You become entangled in the net. Well, I mean, I'm a troll with claws. This is not going to be a problem. Yep, not a problem. Although, really, that's terrible when you're actually fighting monsters. Alright, so here, uh, it won't let me press O anymore because I'm done exploring. So I want to pick a staircase to go down. Um, so, let's see here. This is the staircase I'm going down, apparently. So there are ways to auto-move to locations, which is really nice. Uh, so I'm going to go down the floor. Uh, generally speaking, if you look over on the left, there's a mini-map. Generally speaking, every stairs down, you want to kind of go down and then go back up again so that if you get stuck down in a lower level, you can actually find the nearest staircase and run away. They don't line up, so like a staircase in the upper left-hand corner might not be in the upper left-hand corner on the floor below you. I don't know how else to explain it. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Okay, so this is what I'm talking about, one of the uniques. So this is Jessica, and uh, I don't quite remember the backstory on her, but she's definitely a spellcaster. As you can see, she's already casting spells, and she apparently seems to speed up. Uh, sometimes you can get some flavor text by um, moving over, or pressing X, moving over here. Uh, so apparently it's Jessica. She's wielding a dagger and wearing a robe and moving very quickly. So uh, I'm a troll, so I'm gonna play like a troll. I'm just gonna kind of um, do what trolls do. And oh, what happened? Okay, so Jessica ge uh, gestures wildly while chanting, and then she blinks, which means she teleported to a different location. Right now I'm getting kind of mobbed by monsters. Oh, she reappeared. Um, so I'm going to see if I can... not Oh, I have leveled up. Okay, so here's what I was talking about when you level up. So now that I'm level 3, I get to figure out which one of these things I want to increase. Whether it's strength, intelligence, or dexterity. Uh, I'm going to go strength because I'm a troll, and that's pretty much what trolls do. So, no worries there. Alright, start carving you up. Uh, Jessica blinks again. So Jessica right now just doesn't seem to be doing a lot of damage to me. She just seems to be hopping around. Ooh, okay. Jessica points at you and mumbles some strange words, and pain shoots through your body. So she nicked me for two health points. I don't know what she cast on me, but she cast something. She's casting it again. Okay, this is getting a little intense. Uh, let's see here. So I really messed her up, but she basically drank a health potion, so that's kind of lame. Okay, there she goes. She's almost dead now. Alright, she's gone. So true to a troll fashion, I was going to try to butcher her corpse, but nothing happened. So let's go ahead and press Q and check out what kind of potions we've got here. Um, these are potions I picked up uh, around the floor uh, above us, 
And so right now I don't know what they do. So if I have a scroll of identify, I can figure out what they are. Or you can just try them. So let's go with the oily brown potion. Uh, there was something very wrong with that liquid. You feel clumsy. Uh, it was a potion of degeneration, which basically, I don't know if it's a permanent stat uh, knocking, but it's knocking my stat. If you see up in the upper left-hand corner, my dexterity went from uh, 9 to 5, which is pretty big, but honestly, I'm a troll. I don't really care that much. Um, so there's another potion here, a slimy black potion. I'm really hoping that this is a better potion than the previous thing. Uh, okay, I feel better. So it's a potion of curing. I don't know, it's been a while since I've seen a black potion of curing, but, yeah, what can you do? So, um, along with drinks, there are scrolls. So, again, here's the list of scrolls. As you can see, all of their names are totally scrambled. Uh, the only way to figure it out is just to use one, so we'll use this one. Okay, so as I figure out what it is, um, it crumbles to dust, and it turns out to be a blink scroll. So a blink scroll is a controlled teleport, so I can teleport anywhere where it's visible, apparently. Uh, so if I'm, if I'm like in the corner, surrounded by a bunch of monsters, I can teleport away. If I don't want to use this blink, I basically lose the scroll now that I've identified it, so it's unfortunate, so I have to blink. Uh, so there I blinked. So once I figure out what a blink scroll is, I always know what a blink scroll is from then on. So that same thing with the potions. I will always know that that black potion is a curing potion, so next time I pick up a black potion, it'll be a cure potion. Uh, next time I pick up that stupid orange potion, I'll know that it's something I don't want to drink. Uh, you can throw potions on monsters if you have the right stuff, which is also great fun. Um, Alright, so let's just keep on going. I've got a couple more scrolls I haven't uncovered, but I'm just going to kind of enjoy myself while I can. Uh, okay, a snake. Let's just kind of cut some stuff. Ooh, what happened? Uh, let's see. I am poisoned. So if you see in the upper right-hand corner, it's P-O-I-S, which means poison. Uh, so I'm going to keep on keeping on here. Let's see, it doesn't seem to be affecting my health too much. I'm going to go ahead and eat some Hobgoblin flesh, because why not? Uh, obviously trolls do not get full very well. There we go. So full, so now you can see I'm full uh, in the upper right-hand corner, right next to the poise. It's a stat effect. I don't know what it does. It probably does something. This game is pretty massive. I definitely don't have it mastered by any means. So um, there's a lot of stuff that you can do here. It's like, like I said, it's part of the Lonely Island uh, pack. Um, okay, so there are fountains and there are sparkly fountains. Uh, you know, here it is. This is a fountain of sparkling water. So normal water, you drink and your thirst is quenched and that's great. Uh, but the sparkling water is magical, so if you drink from it, uh, weird stuff can happen. Um, I'm gonna try to drink from it, but I honestly, I don't remember the key, so I'm gonna press a question mark here. Uh, list of commands. We have drink here. Okay, so this game used to be ASCII based, and now it's the tiles based. And some of you will probably be like, "Oh, why don't you play the ASCII based?" This video is probably already going to be uh, just barely enough to bring some people through as it is. So I want to go ahead and look for drink. Drink, 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 drink. Just drop. Hmm. Hmm. I don't want to waste too much time here. So, yeah, this is the list of all the controls. So, too bad I can't show you magical stuff. Although, I've got enough random scrolls right now to... to... See, that was a black potion. It was labeled as a potion of curing. Alright, so let's keep on doing this. Ooh, what's that? Okay, this is a scroll of blinking. So, as you can see, as I pick up scrolls, I already know what they are because I've already used them. All right, so let's reuse, let's let's go read uh, another random scroll here. How about Hogblade Loyal? I don't know what that is. All right, so what happens? Nothing appears to happen. So some of these scrolls require. Um, that was probably a scroll of remove curse, which is unfortunate. I didn't have any cursed items, so it appeared to do nothing. That was kind of boring. Let's try this. Quinkview Yurkasice. I don't know. Let's check it out. Uh, you read the scroll. And it crumbles into dust, the scroll dissolves into smoke. It was Scroll of Fog. So Scroll of Fog, if you want to run away, is pretty cool. Um, as you can see, you can't see very far into the Scroll of Fog, so you'll lose monsters, or you'll maybe upset them if you're a distance. Sound is a key part, plays a key part in this, so there are noise traps in this game. So if you just enter a level and you hit one of those things, then every monster is basically knocking at your door, wants to say hi. 
So that may or may not go against you. Uh, so here's an escape hatch. This is something we can check out. So an escape hatch... Oops, there's a monster. Die. Alright. So the escape hatch is um, a one-way staircase, basically. So if I go down here, I'll just end up somewhere randomly, and there's no way back up. Um, hey, that's a pretty nice chain mail. What is that? Shiny scale mail. I don't even know if I can wear this. I probably take a, 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 a penalty for trying to wear... Yeah, I don't even think I can wear it. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, it looks great, but I don't know if I can wear it. The armor is too small for you, yeah. So there are definite downsides to being a troll. Uh, in fact, later on in the game, I guess I'm not sure if it's still the case, but I remember it being incredibly weak. So if you want to go for the uh, long term, I suggest a, a, like a, a human fighter, or elves are just amazing at spells. Usually I play a fire elf that shoots flames everywhere. Um, it's awesome. You can shoot flames in the water, create steam, there's levitation. There's just so much that you can do out of this game, and I, I'm just amazed at what the development has done so far. Uh, this game is free and open source, I don't know if I've said that, I love open source, and, uh, and uh, is actively being developed. Um, oh, okay, hold on, I walked into something here. How am I doing? Okay, I'm getting kind of messed up, I'm going to need to back out, because I'm getting kind of to very messed up here. One of those is an orc mage that's... Ooh, I'm slowed. So I kind of got screwed up on that one. That's not a huge deal. I'm going to go ahead and try to butcher some items here and and eat. There we go. I'm very full. Very full is what seem, would be, seem to be a good thing, but it kind of slows you down a little bit. What is this? Bunch of jackals. All right. Murdering jackals. Do do do. So I know this video is probably a little bit longer. Ooh, Sigmund. Okay, Sigmund... Ah, I don't know if I should spoil it for you guys. It, you just gotta stay away from this guy. In fact, this will probably be the last fight I get into. Um, because I'm just gonna fight him, and he's probably gonna whoop me in the butt really good. So let's just kind of start this thing. Look at that. I'm already nailed, like... Wow, what is that? Ten health? Yeah, I don't know how much longer I'm gonna be able to sustain this fight. And nine health. And that's it. He did some flaming thing to me, and I died. Um, Sigmund is a major badass. In fact, if you see him, if you're low level, j j it's just better to go down a level where there are more difficult monsters than to deal with this guy. Run, teleport, blink, get the heck out of this guy's line of sight as fast as possible. You can run from him, but he will totally mess you up if he catches you. So that's my suggestion there. Um, all right, so... Here's this is kind of the ending scene. It shows you all of the awesome stuff you have. I've got a bunch of uh, rotting pieces of flesh because I'm not eating enough. Um, I'm, I'm eating just fine, but I've just I've butchered too much. I, I don't know what to do with it all. Um, so it shows you, um, as you can see in the scrolls, it shows you what you did have and that you didn't know them. And the same thing with the potions. So if you keep doing this, it puts you, gives you a score. You got a, a list of uh, all the characters that you've ever played that have died, and uh, as you can see, it shows the the um, the way of the death, which is blasted by Sigmund. Uh, the way of the death is um, what is considered in how conscious you are to the way that you've died. Uh, there are some statues like lower on that totally mess up your sense of everything. So it just says you somehow randomly died. You have no idea what happened. You just know you died. Which is uh, really entertaining. Alright guys, uh, I think that's going to be it for this video. Uh, I want to thank you very much for watching and uh, have a good night.